Well, greetings, Tubadors. Uh, I hope you're all well and that you continue to keep well in these times of mass isolation. Strange days, aren't they? Strange days. Which is uh, fair fodder for the conspiracy theorists. I'm sure you've all noticed there's all sorts of rumours going around about what this thing is. Um, anyway, this one is just a, it's a very quick one. I wasn't even going to do a video today. I'm still working on one that's going to come out towards the end of the week or perhaps even beginning of the next week. Um, so th this is... I wanted to do this because it's a story that I read online literally about 10 minutes ago. Um, now, those of you who know me, not so much for my YouTube content, but uh, from some of the various forums that I take part in, um, you know me to be sort of you know a confirmed atheist. Um, I've never seen any evidence anywhere uh, to convince me that there might be some sort of all-powerful uh, cloud unicorn uh, who magically poofed the entire Earth into existence in six days. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's just medieval superstitious nonsense. And I'm not just amazed that it goes on in the 21st century, but that it's actually allowed to go on in the 21st century. Uh, anyway, there are still many people who believe. Um, some of them draw comfort from it, uh, but a lot of them think that if they spend their entire lives in some kind of mortal fear um, of a God that they say loves them dearly, uh, yet demands absolute adherence uh, to a book that was written hundreds of years after the events that it purports to portray, um, having been orally propagated by you know Bronze Age shepherds in the interim, um, they believe that if they don't stick to it, that they will spend the rest of eternity burning in a sea of molten sulphur. Um, now, call me Mr. Picky, but if a god like that did exist, then he would not be worthy of worship. That is paranoid megalomania. Uh, but anyway, my point is that um, this chap here, uh, this is um, a pastor called Landon Spradlin. Now, Landon Spradlin is, or perhaps I should say was, one of those uh, evangelical preachers who thinks that Jesus was and is absolutely real, that the Bible is the absolute literal word of God, and that Donald J. Trump is more than likely the second coming. Um, according to Pastor Spradlin, this coronavirus that is all weighing very heavily on us at the moment is actually less harmful than the flu. And he's also publicly stated that the coronavirus is nothing more than a hoax perpetrated by the left-wing media in order to sort of destabilise Trump's support base. Um, he is very keen on this unprecedented orange dunce bubble. Um, if you have a look on his uh, on his Facebook page and a couple of other sites that he posts to, um, he's even he's promoted stories about a Christian pastor in South Africa who's used Jesus to protect himself from the plague, um, which is like saying that um, well I've got I've got an elastic band, this has protected me from the plague. I've got an elastic band. I've never had the plague. QED. This must be protecting me. Absolute nonsense. Um, He's also documented um, a group of Christians who were about to be executed by Boko Haram and that uh, Jesus himself actually turned up and saved them, um, which seems strange to me that we didn't see that one on the news. But still, good job the j Man was in the area. Happy days. Um, but the thing is, this, um, this pastor, Landon Spradlin, he's been out there propagating his opinion that COVID-19 is nothing more than a hoax. You know, it's a political hoax. Unfortunately for Pastor Spradlin, he contracted COVID-19 and he went into a swift and steep decline and he died yesterday night, um, despite all the, no doubt, thousands, possibly tens of thousands of prayers that were said by his friends, family and flock. Um, and it got me to think now, is there a moral to this story? You know, I mean, the Bible purports to be the word of God. Some less fundamentalist Christians believe that it is a moral code, not meant to be taken literally, but figuratively, you know, it's a, a manual for a good life. I don't believe anything in the Bible at all, but I consider myself to be a reasonably 
good moral person you know help people where you can do no harm that sort of thing um the thing is to use this covid19 pandemic as a political platform to try and uh, strengthen a sitting president's position because it alone uh, aligns with his own right-wing outlook is first and foremost it's illegal okay but it's also you know very very dumb you know so ju just look where it's got him um he was a musician right he was known by many as the um the musical uh, evangelical and he was playing gigs up until literally just a couple of days ago um after the gigs if you go onto his facebook site there are pictures of him sort of you know meeting and greeting the crowds a big demonstration of christian solidarity but it makes you wonder how many people through his ignorance he has now passed this virus on to um likely hundreds possibly thousands and how many of those people will go home to pass it on to you know their jesus loving families knowing full well that the lord will protect them um i was thinking you know those billboards that they stick outside the churches in the states um they should think about putting you know jesus saves but stupid kills wash your hands stay at home <laughs> But um, I gotta admit, I don't know much about this Landon Spradlin. Um, I know he was a family man, and, and no doubt will deeply be deeply mourned by his family and friends. Um, I know his wife is severely ill with pneumonia, possibly as a consequence of coronavirus. Um, but people in his highly influential position could do so much to slow down the progress of this virus. Um, if a, a pastor stands up in front of his flock, you know, essentially, he is their leader they look to him they will do what he says and if he says stay at home don't come to church to worship we'll all get together when this thing is over big party happy days then he could potentially he or she could potentially save thousands and thousands of lives but it's their misguided faith that has taken such a hold that they think a two and a half thousand year old book filled with fairy tales and superstitions um is the absolute word of a magical cloud pixie that will protect them from anything just so long as they believe sad day for the spradlin family sad day for critical thinking sad day for america because the constitution specifically forbids an amalgamation of church and state and yet there are pastors usually these very right-wing pastors who are using their word, their interpretation of the Bible towards political ends. It should be stopped. It really should. Anyway, that's my lot. Um, all the usual stuff. Subscribe. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Um, this is not one of those videos, really. So if you want to make a comment, make up a comment, whichever. But please be safe. Myself and my wife, we are completely isolated at the moment. I might have to go to the shops tomorrow. Well, we'll see. Fortunately, the local supermarkets around here are being very, very sensible about it. They're just letting literally a handful of people in at a time. Massive social distancing queues outside. It's all going pretty well, but we'll see where we get anyway. Until next time, please be safe. Stay in your homes. Don't go out for more than an hour. Don't stand within two meters of anybody. I will catch you next time. Until then... Hold